Fish Tank people, Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we have a guest speaker in the house with the Species Sunday. But There's Charlie. Hey, Charlie, what do my videos sound like, dude? How do I sound in my videos? Go grab a plant and do, do show, how, show how I do the, uh, do the plants, dude. This right. is Charlie, the neighbor across the way. Funny as hell. Grab a plant, Charlie. Tell us about this plant here. Wait just a minute. This All right, plant here is from uh, where's it Ga from? Ganesia. That's right, Ganesia. And uh, tell me about it. What's oh, it's, this is this thing is. Oh, look. Hey. Look at this thing. What's this thing do? Uh, uh, get that right there. Look at that. Look at that. He's pulling it off. He's got it all set up. Yeah. Oh, that's from Jackanesia. Hey. Smell that. It smells from Jackanesia. That's from Jackanesia right there. That's that stuff. Jackanesia How's it grow, Charlie? Oh, this thing grows like the bomb. Oh, man. Is that what? Boom. Grows like crazy. Does it need yes. a lot of light? A little bit of light? This needs a little bit. No, you can't kill this one. Can't kill that this one? This from Jackanesia. Can your wife kill that one with the Oscars or no? Uh, this one my Oscars eat. This one your Oscars eat? But this one? From Japanese, uh, Japanese. Killing this one. <laughs> Tag on, baby. What are we doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I said, Charlie, Charlie, what the hell am I doing? He just came in here. What did we do just now? We're about to talk about what we're going to do. What, what did we do? We just graded some gravel out in the greenhouse. Just 4.0. Yeah, 4.0. 4.0. We figured out where we're going to, how we're going to slope the concrete. Slope the concrete to the door, and then from the door to these drains. These how, are drains. How many inches off are we up there? Six. Six inches off. We're going to come down a little bit and get level with the door, and then we're gonna go down about that, and then we're gonna slope to the middle. Yes. Well, what do I gotta do now? Now we gotta get some dirt. Dirt, why? Where, what? On the day, because it's bowing the greenhouse wall. So we need something to counteract this pressure coming in. Why don't we get some pecker head with a stone slinger to throw some rock, you can't because get I rock. can't get back in here. No, all right, so I gotta get dirt. How the hell am I gonna get dirt back there? Bobcat. Bobcat? Who's got a bobcat? See? So, so I don't know what I'm doing. I just make the videos. <laughs> he came over here. I said, I called him on Monday. I was like, hey, man, I need some rock. We didn't even agree that you were going to come over. You said you needed a basin move. And uh, I got some where the sad was ripped out. Get down on there, Andrew. We got the sad ripped out. And then he pulled in here and we shot. How many, hey, how much rock did we get on this? 70 something tons. 70 something tons? I don't know what that costs, but now we're getting get that low. Expensive. My plants, it's expensive. Mucho dinero. That's right, it's going to him. Yes. <laughs> that looks good though, dude. Plumber something to work with. Something to work with? Yeah, I can't get the plumber out here. Getting it on great. Close to it. Here at Dustin's Fish Tanks, we like to debate the hard questions. As a parent, you all know this question. We're playing a game today with the tadpoles called, Is That Poop? I'm not gonna be in this game today, but Ryan and Cameron have been debating this all week long. Let's get to the bottom of the game called, Is That Poop? So, Ryan, why do you think it's not poop? I mean, look at, look at him. Look at the tadpole, for context. You think something that small could create that it's a literal pile of poop. Well, the thing I, is, they chill right here by this heater, just because all of this water is colder. Oh, I know. You can see that right see there. The you can see the heat waves coming off. So if they eat all of the algae and just come right here to heat up, majority of the day, their poop is going to land in the same spot. You're not wrong, but at the same time, this is also the most densely planted area of the tank. And there's the same looking detritus all around the tank. Yeah. And, and I've been working with these plants for years and that's kind of just what the detritus looks like. I will give you credence though because I have seen the size of the turds hanging out this tadpole's butthole and they are like twice as long as him and it's almost one a day so for all I know, all the detritus at the bottom of this tank is just straight up tadpole feces. <laughs> and and I've, I've kind of come around because Cameron will always come up in the greenhouse and be like, hey, come check this out. And he just wants to show me a, a new massive turd hanging out of this tadpole's butt. So, I don't know. Tadpoles are growing, bro. Does temperature increase fecal matter? Find out more at 11. <laughs> Look at these fish. Look at these. Golden Dojo Loach. 
I had one called BPP. BPP stood for Big Pink Penis. This fish has more personality than half of my employees. They're amazing. They swim up, they come right up to you, they look around. You can see here, Andrew took this great shot of them sitting on a crenum leaf. These fish rock. You know what else rocks? The rainbows that are in with them. Look at those fish. Do not care. Everywhere. Come on. Boom. Look at them. They know, they know the camera is on. They're like, oh, you got the camera on, Dad? We should probably swim over here. Actually, they think they're getting fed, is what they think. Look at them. I walk up, I walk by. There's the door. I walk to the door. The fish greet me at the door. This is why you should own loaches. Just literally like, hey dude, I'm your fish, man. Hey man. Hey man, I'm your fish, man. I want to talk about the random rainbow tag. This is a 350 gallon aquarium that lives here in the original greenhouse 2.0. This tank is fun for me because this tank is full of a bunch of uh, Australian rainbows, like just straight up the 249 variety that you can buy at the pet store. Uh, quick tip if the people at Petco don't know what they're doing, they might sell you a really fly like female Bosmani because they don't know the difference. These fish were originally purchased for the sole purpose of removing some worms that were living in one of the basins. I started with four fish. I have like, I don't know, 50 now. Uh, Alltech has 15 of them, but then the rest of them live in here. They're in a six foot tank and they're totally fabulous and they're schooling. I cannot emphasize this enough. Uh, you can click the link around here to see a bunch of videos about schooling fish, but schooling fish, schooling fish, schooling fish, get yourself a school of fish. Individually, these fish are nothing as a team, as a group. They are freaking fabulous. Think about this in nature. If you've got a predator, all of a sudden there's a giant school, like it, you know, there's more power in numbers with a giant school. They look fabulous. You're gonna get better behavior out of the fish. They're gonna have a more natural behavior, um, obviously better chance of breeding, and just in general schooling fish. You might note, uh, this is an old school shot of my old 220 with my rainbows in it. I do have a, a soft spot in my heart for rainbows, but they're great in the greenhouse for this reason. They're great in the greenhouse because we do get some temperature swings here. Now, I figured out that volume of water uh, is, is a very important thing with temperature swings. So while it's a 350 gallon aquarium full, uh, as it sits right now, it's probably 200, but that's enough water volume that I don't have to worry about a temperature swing. But if the temperature does drop, which uh, it got down to 34 in here the other night, the heater just simply cannot keep up that much. It probably got down into the mid 60s. The rainbows do not care. In fact, they like a little bit of cold water. And pro tip, if you would like to spawn rainbows, I do recommend giant water changes. Giant water changes uh, just stimulate raining season as it rains above us right now and it just stimulates a pow and it also gives like a parameter swing in the water so there's a little bit of a change in the type of water that they have they absolutely love it there's uh they also enjoy fast moving water there's not a lot of moving water in here but uh this tank is six foot and the rainbows go nuts what lives with the rainbows the golden dojo loaches we love the golden dojo loaches we can't get enough of the golden dojo loaches Golden Dojo loaches just chill like that. I mean, they just sit around and just do dope stuff and just hang out. Like, he knows he's on camera right now and is swimming towards Dustin. Look at this fish. Like, that's what they do, okay? That's how they roll. Uh, they're fabulous fish. Also, they are weather loaches and we are having some weather right now. So every now and then you'll see them acting a fool. So they're in there, they're a nice contrast. They're also more of a bottom sifter, uh, bottom eater in here. I want to make a note about this tank. It's a little bit of cloudy because we did a water change not too long ago. But you can see this clip here. We used to have, this tank had a horrendous algae problem. It had green water, green water, green water. And there was a heavy plant load and there was a decent fish load, but we had green water. And what people don't see is the beneficial bacteria had nowhere to live because we had a glass bottom tank. But now I brought the uh, giant old school credit and the tans from my 220, which is now empty sadly. And I brought it up into here 
and uh, it lives there. And then all of the bacteria that lives in that pot and some along the bottom, but primarily on that gravel, it has something to live on. Um, we have not had green, green, green water in here anymore since we added the gravel. We always had the plants, we always had the light, but then we added the gravel. So I wanted to just show this tank, Anacrocelodia, illegal in a bunch of different states, a couple of Apozelli here and there, giant Cranomitans, and just look, Andrew, can you get a shot of that dude right there? Just post it, just like, yo, post it. And you can see him when you walk by too. Like I'm sitting here enjoying this tank, but like, like when I walk by to like do work, they just are doing that. Like, yeah, man, we're here, look at us. So uh, absolutely loving that. I do have a metal highlight on the front here because we're about to feed them. Oh, one other quick note, uh, the, the surface of this tank, and Andrew can get a B-roll of this, we'll do, uh, the surface of this tank is covered in salvinia. That uh, does well with light reduction as well. Not such a problem in the winter, but in the summertime, that helps out a ton.